In our schools tonight, two Buffalo charter schools now on a deadline to reach academic goals or possibly face closure. Westminster Community and Enterprise Charter Schools were the focus of Wednesday afternoon's Board of Education meeting. The school board granting Enterprise Charter a three-year renewal and approving Westminster Community for a four-year renewal. These two charter schools were sent to close in June of 2021 when the board determined that they were underperforming. Following a lawsuit, these districts were able to stay open so long as they met academic achievement targets. Now, the school board releasing the charter school's test scores this evening in math, Enterprise is 15.8% below the Buffalo Public School District and 15% below in ELA. As for Westminster community, math scores are 6.1% above the school district. However, ELA scores are 0.3% below the district average. Now, school leaders leaders sharing their voice with me this evening on their plans for academic improvement. We have a very clear amount of time to get the work done that we need to. We know we can be better and we know we will be better. And now that Westminster Community Charter School and Enterprise Charter have won renewal to stay open for at least the next few years, the work can really begin on improving proficiency rates. We were told by the state that we need to get a better handle on them that they need to come uh, more so under our umbrella. And so we want to make sure that parents get their choices. But in addition to that, that they're playing fair in the sandbox and that everybody is, has a fair opportunity. Uh, to get quality education. Scores show students with disabilities at Westminster are performing well below their counterparts in the city's public schools. Having the opportunity to see all the data and where we are, it makes it much clearer what we need to work on. So it's not just saying, yes, we are, you know, what used to be in good standing, you know, the local area support. The problem is we still have areas where we're not meeting it. And if you looked at our special ed population, we're not meeting their needs, so how do we change that? Westminster's community's corrective plan includes improving student proficiency in English language arts, math, and science. And at Enterprise... We know that we need to urgently improve learning in our school to make sure our kids are really prepared to lead choice for lives. And so we're working hard on that. Uh, Dr. Bullock and Mr. Berenger and their team are fabulous. We've been working very closely to build out a detailed plan, and we're making significant updates to our academic program to make sure every kid gets the support they need to succeed. Enterprise Charter's corrective plan includes English language arts, math, and science, as well as increasing student attendance and tackling chronic absenteeism. Belton Cotman says that she believes the charter schools will be successful. We need to make sure that they realize that there, that there is a process toward success. There's an equation toward success. And if we can be of help, we want to be of help. But at the end of the day, do the work. It requires work and it requires spending money to get it done. And instead of sitting on your assets, start using that money to educate children and get them to where they need to be.